According to a complaint filed just over a week prior to its closure, the West Omaha restaurant, bar, and live music venue, Barrel and Vine and the company that owned the property owed a total of more than $16 million in unpaid rent and construction costs. Barrel and Vine abruptly announced it had permanently closed on Tuesday. A complaint first filed October 2nd alleges the business had operational problems, cash flow issues, and a lack of business since it opened in August 2021. James Jimmy Perchal of Omaha and Aaron McKeever of Arizona formed 204 Holdings LLC around November 2018. Perkle and McKeever also formed Barrel and Vine LLC, the company that would own the restaurant, in June 2018. They were shared owners of Barrel and Vine until McKeever sold, transferred or divested all of his shares in the company in May 2022, making Perchal the sole managing member. Mallory, owner of AMC Construction, performed $800,000 worth of construction work at the property, including concrete flat work. Pachal, McKeever and GMA offered Mallory to become a 10% owner in 204 holdings in exchange for $600,000 worth of the work. Pachal and McKeever told Mallory that his investments would be a slam dunk, that he would be repaid for his $600,000 worth of work, and that he would receive a substantial return on his investment. Though Mallory continues to hold a 10% interest in the company through AMC Industrial, he was never repaid the $600,000. After December 2020, Perchel, McKeever, and or GMA began transferring, selling, and or divesting ownership interests in 204 holdings for hundreds of thousands of dollars without the knowledge or approval of the other owners. Perchel signed lease agreements on behalf of both B&V and 204 holdings. The terms of the lease were created to have improperly favorable lease terms to B&V instead of 204 holdings and contained below market lease rates for the B&V rental space. As a result, 204 holdings has lost significant rental income and profits. The complaint also alleges that Barrel and Vine has failed to pay rent to 204 holdings for several months. Pshal, McKeever and GMA also took hundreds of thousands of dollars from 204 holdings to pay for tenant improvements at Barrel and Vine. Perchal also withdrew and commingled large amounts of 204 Holdings monetary assets for his own personal financial dealings. Two construction deeds of trust have been recorded against the property that total over $15 million that Perchal, McKeever and GMA have failed to pay and have now been in default for several months. Multiple construction liens that total over $1 million have also been filed against the property, 